Hey everyone, Melissa Whaley here. Um, I realized that I had referred to a video talking about creating an Etsy shop payment account and a lot of people are confused because that wasn't its own video. So I'm making that video right now so you guys can see what I'm talking about when I refer to connecting your Etsy integration to a separate account rather than connecting it directly to your checking or bank account. So right now um, I am in a Wave dummy account. And so this is what it looks like when nothing has been connected. So to get to this, you're gonna wanna log into your Wave account, click here on account and select integrations. So this is gonna load this screen of these different types of third-party apps that currently connect with Wave and this is where the Etsy one is. So the short way to do this, if you have not already connected your Etsy shop to Wave, then you would wanna hit connect, and it's gonna log over to your Etsy shop, which hopefully you're logged into, so allow access. Okay, now here, is what it's gonna, it's asking where do you wanna send this information to Wave? So if you have multiple businesses set up in Wave, you'd wanna click, select your correct Etsy shop business, first of all, and then it's gonna ask what payment account, as in like, where does this money from Etsy go to? Now most people, by default, choose their checking account or accidentally choose cash on hand. They've never set anything up, so they don't know any different, and they do that. My suggestion is to click right here where it says click this plus sign to create a new payment account. And so when you click that, it allows you to create a new bank account. Now this is gonna be, we're treating it as a bank account, but it's not going to be connected to any online banking. So I just wanna make that clear. This is like a pass-through account. And the reason that we create this pass-through account is so you can do cleaner reconciliation on both your bank side and your Etsy side, and you can record everything appropriately and from where the money flows. So I'll walk you through that in a sec, but first I wanna show you how to set this up. So we're gonna pretend that it's a bank account, banking cash, and we're just gonna say other bank account. And now that we're here, we can rename this anything we want. So this is where I call it, I always am shorten it to Etsy SPA, that stands for Etsy Shop Payment Account. If you wanna type out the whole thing, that's perfectly fine too. You wanna to make sure you have this checked, because that means that you, you receive and spend money from this account. And then you wanna select your correct currency. Obviously I'm in the US, so I select US dollar and we're gonna save that. So now what's gonna happen is all of those sales from your shop are gonna flow into this Etsy SPA account. And then once the money it gets deposited into your checking account, you're just gonna create a transfer out of Etsy SPA and into your checking for that amount that Etsy paid you. So we're gonna save this so now Etsy and Wave are connected. Pretty cool, huh? Now, if you have already set up your Etsy integration and you just have it feeding into your checking account and you're confused and you're like, oh no, am I doing this wrong? Did I set this up wrong? My income's being duplicated, what do I do? You can, again, go to that same screen, account integrations at any time and switch this over. So if it's already green like this, that means you've already set it up. All you have to do is click this pencil button. And when you click that pencil button, it'll take you back here. And it may say right now, checking account. And if you look, you don't have SPA set up. So you can, again, click this little plus button right here and create the account from there. You don't have to go into any other screens to create the account. The other way you could create a new account in Wave is go to the accounting tab and you can manually add an account here. And this is also where 
you can add different types of income accounts and expense accounts. Um, so again, it would be a bank account and an other, or if you're adding a credit card, you know, you would add a credit card like this. So there's different options there, income accounts and expense accounts. So we've already created that, so we're not going to worry about it. But that's how you could also create the shop payment account is from here. But I find it much easier to do it directly from this integrations page by clicking that plus button. So that's going to help you create that shop payment account. And then when you go to your transactions and you see those Etsy sales coming in, what they're going to look like, and it's, uh, it's not showing me anything right now because I don't have any Etsy transactions coming in. But basically what it's going to look like is um, the account here where it, it's going to still be uncategorized, but it's going to show the account as Etsy SPA. So I'll do a follow-up video to show you how to do the transfers and record the Etsy expenses, but I want to make sure to show you guys how to set up that account right now. Okay, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys. You're wonderful.